Hey, what's up? It's Valencia Cardoso, and I'm here with Yusuf Tukan, golfer good, goodwill ambassador. Hey, to Yusuf. Thank you. Good? I'm fine, thanks. Um, so let's get right into it. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to give us a bit of background into Golf for Good and like, yeah. what, what it is that you guys do? Golf for Good is a, a Dubai-based charity that was started 10 years ago. And the vision is very much to spread goodwill from the people of the Gulf to the rest of the world, to those less fortunate than us. I think, you know, living here in the UAE, you know, we're, we're all very conscious of just how lucky we are to be able to live a very comfortable lifestyle and never really want for anything. Um, obviously, it's very different in a lot of other parts of the world. So what we try to do is to create a series of challenges around the world um, for places in need and then organize groups of tra uh, challengers to travel from the GCC to those areas to participate in the challenges and raise money for charities in that area. So, for example, um, if a, a, the challenge went to Kilimanjaro, um, the participants would go to Kilimanjaro, climb the mountain, but within the context of that would also visit the charities right. at the foothills of the mountain that are actually benefiting from the funds that we raise. That's really cool. Like, how did you start getting involved in Golf for Good? Well, I've, I've known Golf for Good for a long time. Um, some of the founders are, are good friends of mine, and I tried to participate in one of their earliest challenges to Thailand in 2001, um, but it didn't really happen. I wasn't fit enough, <laughs> I didn't get my vaccinations, I didn't do my fundraising, just basically just didn't do anything. Um, and I wasn't able to participate in that, but I did get my act together, and in 2003, I took part in my first challenge, which was the High Atlas Challenge in Morocco. And again, it was eight days trekking through the mountains with a great bunch of people, seeing the sights, no newspapers, no mobile phones, obviously no Twitter and Blackberry then. <laughs> um, and, you know, and I climbed the highest mountain in North Africa. Wow. So it was an incredible experience and I really got the bug for it. And since then I've been on a number of different challenges. It's taken me to places like Peru, to Borneo in Malaysia, to Kilimanjaro. Uh, to, to north and south Lebanon. Wow. So it's been to some really special places. And, and we as an organization, Flip Media, um, the agency I work for, um, are very committed to, to working with people who do good. And so, so as part of what we've done to support the charity as well, we've actually built their website for exactly. them. Exactly. So it's a really nice website. Thank you. And it's, it's really important you know, for, for nonprofits to be able to create good digital platforms because this really is their main point of reference, right. be it with sponsors, with participants, with advocates, with anybody who wants to get involved. Um, the website really is the cheapest and most effective way to communicate to them. And so we're very proud to have played a small part in helping Gulf for Good um, get online in the right way. Awesome. And like going back to some of the challenges, mm -hmm. what is one of the coolest challenges that you've done? Well, they're all quite special in their own way. I mean, every one of them really comes with its own set of memories. And with some of them, it's been the people that you've met. With some of them, it's the things that you've seen. And, you know, you look at trips like Machu Picchu, for example, um, where... You know, it was, a, it was a long trip. We went down to, you know, we flew to Peru via Brazil. We had a day in Lima where we met everybody, went parasailing on the Miraflores beach. Then, you know, flew up to Cusco to the Sacred Valley, spent days trekking there. Then one saw the beautiful ancient city of Machu Picchu. Just really saw things like you'd have to see with your own eyes to believe. So, it, you know, that's quite a special one. But again, you know, I've climbed Kilimanjaro, you know, the highest mountain in Africa. Jabal Tukha, the highest mountain in North Africa. I've climbed Kota Kinabalu, the highest mountain in Southeast Asia. Um, I've been to refugee camps in Lebanon. Um, you know, we've seen all sorts of things um, through Gulf for Good. And do you train for all of these? Or? Well, you, you, you know, you, you have to in a sense. I mean, what I like to say to people really is that, you know, Gulf for Good ch um, challenges are very accessible to people and you don't have to be a marathon runner or an Ironman to be able to participate in them. And obviously some of them have, you know, greater levels of difficulty than others. But what I always say to people is, the fitter you are, the more you're, you're going to enjoy yourself. You know, we've been on trips with people who are in their 70s, who've, been, who've gotten fit and been able to enjoy it. And like, what I always like to say is that, you know, if you're fit and you're enjoying it, you haven't got your head down putting one foot in the front of the other. You're actually enjoying your walk and you've got your head up and you're taking in all the beautiful scenery and all the sights around you or you're talking to the friends that you're making. So, you know, we really do encourage people to try to get fit as often as they can. I mean, Golf for Good actually has physical activities almost every weekend, be it a stair climb yeah. in a hotel, a beach walk, a run, a cycle. We're always trying to create activities for our community to get involved, but we also will work with you to kind of work with, you know, some of our corporate partners as well to go to gyms, go to hotels, and just get yourself fit before the challenge. And, and going on some of these trips, you generally go with a group of people. Mm -hmm. So you tend to make a lot of connections, right? You do. Well, I mean, you don't make like great business networking <laughs> connections. No. Um, yeah. But you do make a lot of friends. Exactly. Um, and that's really what it's all about. And that's a big part of Gulf for Good's mission is for people to have fun and make friends. Right. And, you know, the, the thing is the sort of person who will go on a Gulf for Good trip 
isn't your average person. You know, they have to make a huge commitment in terms of their time, in terms of their time off work. You know, it's their holiday time when they could be sitting on a beach somewhere <laughs> that they're going to spend, you know, sweating and huffing and puffing um, in terms of fundraising. And it really, you know, and I've, we've made, I've made some friends for life out of these trips. You know, there's been some wonderful people, young, old, couples, single people. You know, you really do meet people from all walks of life. And it really reflects the diversity of, of the Emirates in a lot of ways, and that we've had Emiratis, Indians, South Africans, Brits, Germans, Greeks, That's Australians. Cool. That's, it's so diverse. Yeah. Um, so what are some of the challenges that you guys have coming up? We've got some great challenges coming up. We actually have a group um, that's going to be summiting Kota, Kota Kinabalu in Malaysian Borneo this week. Wow. Um, so we've got a great group of people there. And again, they've been training quite hard to get themselves there. We've also got um, a trip to cycle around the seven emirates later in the year. And we've got some great trips coming up next year as well. Um, we've got a trip to Syria. We've got a trip to Romania. We've got a trip to China. So some really exciting out-of-the-way places that most people have never been to before. Cool. And how can the people out there get involved? Well, the first thing to do is really say, go to our website and find out more, um, right. which is at www.gulf4good.org. Um, and the website really is quite comprehensive in terms of information about fundraising, about challenges, about the itineraries, the time you need off work. It really is very detailed. And, you know, we'd love to get more challenges on these trips. And, you know, we always welcome people, you know, young and old. Awesome. Thank you so much, Yusuf. Thank you, Valencia. Uh, everybody out there, check out Golf for Good. And uh, thank you again, Yusuf, for having me. It's a pleasure.